In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an email signature on an email template. So for an outbound email template, you'll go up here to the email section, you click on outbound settings, and here's where you can input your signature. Now, we recommend creating both a text and an HTML signature. Text signatures can be used with the iPad. There's some reasons why an iPad can't use an HTML signature in the email center. Uh, so we, we give you the option to create both a text and an HTML signature. Text signature, real easy, you just type the information in that you want to have in your signature. Now for an HTML signature, you'll notice that at, at the time of recording this video, we do not have an HTML editor in this section, so I'm going to show you how to use our other email template editor to create some HTML for this section right here. So while we're here, let's go ahead and save this and then we're going to close out of the email section and what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the account page on the setup tab we're going to go to email templates and we'll just grab an organization email template and let's create a new one here and we'll just call this one our email signature and I want this to be an HTML signature so I need to select the HTML button right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this HTML editor right here one little trick about our email editor is if you hold down the shift button and hit enter you can go one line at a time if you just hit enter it'll go it'll put double spacing in so let's say I wanted to have that part in there and let's say I wanted a footer that had that had an image in it so where do I find the image well let's say I'm gonna go to my website and I'm gonna find the image so up here I've got my website I've got a couple of images here that I could choose from so let's say I wanted to grab this image and add it to my signature there's two ways that I can do this I can either right click and copy this URL or I can just save the image. The safest bet, if there's a chance that this image URL could change, is to save that image. I'm going to just save that to my desktop. Now that I've saved that to my desktop, I'll go back into my editor. And what I want to do is I want to insert an image. And so here's the URL. This is where I could just copy and paste that URL in. Um, if I wanted to use that URL, but since what I'm going to do is upload, I've got to select my file from my desktop, send it to the server, tells me that it's been uploaded, I can remove the width and height and it'll just automatically set the width and height. I want it to be left aligned and there's my image. So now what I have is I have an image with my signature and what I'm going to do is while I'm on this page I'm going to click on the source button of my editor and I'm going to copy that. What I've done is I've just created the HTML. little trick here using the editor. Go back to source and you'll notice that the, the HTML is now in there so I have to submit that template. So what I've done is I've created an HTML template in the template section. Now because I copied and pasted that HTML what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here to my email section I'm going to go into my outbound settings again and again since I didn't have an HTML signature before I'm just going to paste that in paste that in and then I'm going to come down here and save that And now I've got an HTML email signature that I can use with my emails.